Tesla makes cars. Now it's the latest company to seek an edge in artificial intelligence by making its silicon chips. Tesla is the latest non-traditional chip maker to design its own silicon chips. As AI has become more important and costly to deploy, other companies that are heavily invested in the technology, including Google, Amazon, and Microsoft, also now design their own chips. Back in 2016, Tesla announced that it would be shipping all of its cars with the necessary hardware to support future advancements in autonomous tech. And as promised, Tesla not only managed to live up to their ambitious goal, but also ended up manufacturing the world's most advanced chip. The exponential expansion in the power of computers over the past few decades isn't news. Every school kid has probably heard about their smartphone having more computing power than the computers that took Apollo 11 astronauts to the moon in 1969. Most people are probably also aware that achieving true self-driving capability will require a tremendous amount of computing power, and that with this goal in mind, Tesla has steadily upgraded the computer systems used in its vehicles. Earlier versions of Tesla's autopilot system relied on chips from supplier NVIDIA. When Tesla launched Autopilot 2.0, it said the included computer had the computing power of about 150 MacBook Pros. In 2019, Tesla replaced that chip with a new one that is designed in-house, which it claimed delivers 21 times the performance of the previous chip, which is also cheaper and requires only a little more power. So far, Tesla's cars were outfitted with NVIDIA's Hardware 2.0 computer that was installed in all Teslas produced from October 2016. A news report indicated that this was based on NVIDIA's Drive PX2 platform. That is the OpenAI car computing platform that enables automakers to provide level 4 autonomy. The new chip, which is manufactured by Samsung, consists of two neural network arrays, each of which is capable of 36 trillion operations per second, or teraflops. It's supposed to be powerful enough to handle the incredibly computing-intensive task of full self-driving once the software is ready. Tesla's latest FSD computer includes two of the chips, for the sake of redundancy. Just for fun, Select Car Leasing compared the computing power of Tesla's badass chip to that of some other historic computing devices. The computer that enabled the Apollo 11 mission delivered about a half a million operations per second, or half a megaflop. This means that Tesla's twin chips, with their combined 72 teraflops, pack a nearly 150 million times the computing power that took the astronauts Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins to the moon. NASA's vehicles have gotten a lot more sophisticated since 1969. The Perseverance rover that landed on Mars in February of 2021 is controlled by a computer with two teraflops of power. However, that's small potatoes in the self-driving world. Tesla's FSD hardware could theoretically power some 36 Mars rovers. The FSD system has 180 times the computing power of an F-35, the US Air Force's most advanced fighter jet, 360,000 times the potency of the IBM Deep Blue supercomputer that beat world chess champion Garry Kasparov, and 7.2 times the juice of a PlayStation 5 console, or 1.3 times the oomph of Apple's latest Mac Pro. How could it be that Tesla, who never designed a chip before, would design the best chip in the world? Elon Musk once boasted, the answer has something to do with the creative and persistent application of the most powerful supercomputer known. That would be the human brain, which is thought to be capable of one pentaflop, which equals one quadrillion operations of processing power. Tesla on Thursday unveiled a custom chip for training artificial intelligence networks in data centers. The work, shown at the automaker's live-streamed AI day, demonstrates the company's continuing pursuit of vertical integration. The D1 chip, part of Tesla's Dojo computer system, uses a 7 nanometer manufacturing process. With 362 teraflops of processing power, said Ganesh Venkataramanan, Senior Director of Autopilot Hardware. Tesla places 25 of these chips onto a single training tile, and 120 of these tiles come together across several server cabinets. Amounting to over an exaflop of power, Venka Taramanan said, adding that we are assembling our first cabinets pretty soon. Venka Taramanan previously worked at chipmaker AMD. He said the Tesla technology will be the fastest AI training computer. Chipmaker Intel, graphics card maker NVIDIA, and startup GraphCore 
are among other companies that make chips that companies can use to train AI models. These chips can help train models for recognizing a variety of items from video feeds collected by cameras inside Tesla vehicles. Model training requires extensive computing work. Elon Musk said we should have Dojo operational next year. The work comes two years after Tesla began producing vehicles containing AI chips built in-house. These chips help the car's onboard software make decisions very quickly in response to what's happening on the road. Many car companies use neural networks to identify objects on the road, but Tesla is relying more heavily on the technology with a single giant neural network known as a transformer receiving input from eight cameras at once. Tesla currently offers what it calls a full self-driving capability add-on for new vehicles. The $10,000 package lets the car automatically change lanes, navigate on highways, move into parking spots, and emerge from a parking spot to arrive by the driver. The Tesla website says later this year, the package will also include the ability for Tesla to automatically steer on city streets, although Tesla had previously promised that feature to come out in 2019. Tesla's website says full self-driving elements, quote, require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. Earlier this year, Tesla introduced a $199 monthly subscription for Tesla owners who wish to access full self-driving. Critics have said that Tesla's moniker for its driver assistance feature is misleading, as Tesla's software does not offer level 5 autonomy, where a car can completely drive in all circumstances without human intervention. Last year, a German court ruled that Tesla had misled consumers about the autonomous capabilities of its cars. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration announced an investigation of Tesla's autopilot automatic steering, accelerating, and braking capability earlier this week, following a string of crashes. Despite this, Tesla's AI chief, Andrzej Karpathy, said during the August event that the company is effectively building a synthetic animal from the ground up, saying, quote, the car can be thought of as an animal. It moves around autonomously, senses the environment, and acts autonomously. Gerdes of Stanford says Tesla's strategy is built around its neural network. Unlike many self-driving car companies, Tesla does not use LiDAR, a more expensive kind of sensor that can see the world in 3D. It relies instead on interpreting scenes by using the neural network algorithm to parse input from its cameras and radar. This is more computationally demanding because the algorithm has to reconstruct a map of its surroundings from the camera feeds rather than relying on sensors that can capture that picture directly. But Tesla also gathers more training data than any other car company. Each of the more 1 million Teslas on the road sends back to the company the video feeds from its eight cameras. Tesla says it employs a thousand people to label those images, noting cars, trucks, traffic signs, lane markings, and other features to help train the largest transformer. At the August event, Tesla also said it can automatically select which images to prioritize in labeling to make the process more efficient. Gerdes says one risk of Tesla's approach is that at a certain point, adding more data may not make the system better. Saying, quote, is it just a matter of more data or do neural networks capabilities plateau at a lower level than you hope? Wei Ping, a professor at the University of Michigan who focuses on autonomous driving, says that if the D1 ends up being successful, Musk could sell it to other car makers, which would need to follow its technical lead. Ping says he doesn't know if the approach Tesla is taking will work out financially or technically, but he's learned not to bet against Musk, saying, quote, they've done a lot of things that everyone says won't work, adding, but it works in the end. What do you think? Would the Tesla AI chip be a success? Let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section below.